Hello everyone, my name is Doug Bassett and I'm the Senior Microsoft Instructor for Stormwind Epic Live and today we're going to be talking about certification. As you can see, I have several certifications under my belt and this is just the short list. But the one that we're going to be talking about is MCITP Enterprise. MCITP Enterprise was the expert level certification from Microsoft that showed that you have mastered a lot of different technologies. You are able to roll out desktops using WDS. You're able to update desktops and servers with WSUS. You can manage legacy things like WINS. You can control everything with Active Directory and Group Policies. Awesome certification to have. And this certification has really been in the premier track for a very, very long time. But Microsoft has recently made announcements that has been a little controversial depending upon where you're looking. But they are reintroducing MCSE. MCSE. I've heard of that certification before. In fact, I think I still may be an MCSE on some of these older technologies. But Microsoft has been changing this a little bit. And it's not just the cool logo. Let's go out to Microsoft's website. We're going to go to Microsoft.com forward slash learning. And inside of here, we have the link to MCSE. Now, the cool part about it is, is that this has been reinvented for the cloud. Cloud computing, that's where the future's happening, and that's kind of where Microsoft is headed. But it is reinvented for the cloud. Now, the first one that they pushed out was MCSE Private Cloud. But it's not the only one that's out there. You have SQL Server, which we have over here. We have Desktop Infrastructure. We have Server Infrastructure. All sorts of certifications. But let's look at the first one. The first one that they pushed out was for Private Cloud. And in order to become an MCSE on Private Cloud, you had to be an MCSA for Windows Server 2008. Then you had to pass the 247 exam and the 246 exam, which focuses on a private cloud, managing and in installing and administering and doing all that other stuff with System Center 2012. So the premier system management on top of the cloud got you MCSE. In order to get an MCSA, what you needed to do is you needed to go in and you needed to pass exam 410. Well, wait a minute. 410 is for 2010. I thought that it said 2008. Well, again, Microsoft is moving towards 2012. And you can still do it with MCSA for 2008. But if you want to, they have an upgrade exam. So if you're an MCSA for Windows Server, uh, Virtualization Administrator, Enterprise Messaging, so on and so on, you can take exam 417, and that is the upgrade exam that will make you an MCSA for 2012. But you can also go in and you can say, all right, um, I'm going to uh, do exam 410, which is currently in beta. You can do for exam 411 and exam 412. And notice that these are all server 2020, uh, 2012 certifications. So very good stuff in there. But what if I don't want to necessarily do private cloud? What if I want to do uh, server infrastructure? Well, if we go into server infrastructure, the requirement is, again, MCSA for 2012. Then you do exam 413 and 414. One is for your, infa, your uh, op designing and implementing infrastructure. The other one is advanced infrastructure. Eh, it makes some sense. Um, what if I want to go with uh, desktop? infrastructure. Well, if you go into desktop infrastructure, again, MCSA. See the common theme here? You really want to get your MCSA for 2012. Then you take 415 and 416, which is your desktop infrastructure and your desktop application environment. Very, very important. And again, they do have the uh, certification upgrade path, MCITP, Enterprise Desktop Administrator, 417, 415, and 416. Uh, if you want to go hardcore, <laughs> or you know whatever your specialization is, they also have an MCSE for uh, SQL Server, and the SQL Server requirements pretty similar. MCSA for SQL Server 2012, MCSE Data Platform, Business Intelligence, or other certification. You can go in and you can explore that a little bit more. But the one that I am very excited about is Private Cloud. When you look at some of the magazines and some of the discussion, Forbes magazine in a recent uh, article said that one third of all IT budgets is being spent on the cloud. One third of all the money being spent on IT is going to the cloud. You see cloud computing all over the place. Heck, even our game consoles are starting to move towards the cloud. And, you know, certification and keeping your IT uh, certs up to date. Very, very important. I'm very excited about MCSE. I'm glad to see it coming back. I loved MCSE 
But I also like how Microsoft is keeping up with the technology. They know that we're spending all this money on clouds, and we have to be able to, to keep up on that. Another requirement that they have with the certification is you have to recertify every three years to keep your skills nice and fresh. Now, cloud computing. You know, it's like hockey. If you're playing hockey, you don't want to skate to where the puck is right now. You want to skate to where the puck's going to be. And according to Forbes magazine and according to uh, Microsoft, in my humble opinion, the puck's kind of headed towards the clouds.